Hey everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Now, I want to show you what I think is just the ultimate data visualization technique. Uh, I mean, there are many, but this is just one that I think is is, is pretty epic uh, and is uh, was, was historically not even possible with Power BI, you know, a, a while back, right? But with these updated tool tips that we can now create inside of Power BI, we can create something quite compelling. And I want to show you. I want to walk through how how you can do it. Okay, so in the past, you know, what I've got here is if we wanted to say show things uh, spatially, uh, we would usually have to place the visualization by itself uh, in the report page, right? And so in this particular case, I've used the shape map, which uh, enables me to. Uh, I've just got a, some demo data here, which has given me information by state, and then I've got my total revenue here. What I've built over here is uh a way, like just some tables where you know we can filter by like products sold etc we can filter by customers um, that we sold to so on and so forth okay now what i thought would be and we, we can we can even turn this into say like a um a bar chart as well All right so we can click through now what we can do now is we can embed something like this into a tooltip so as we scroll along instead of seeing say like the generic tooltip we can actually see a dynamic map visualization in a tooltip i mean it's it's pretty incredible and so what i want to do is i want to show you i want to walk through how, how how to do it and and like there's just a few steps to it um but it's it's you know it's very possible right anyone anyone can do this right you just got to listen to the end of this video to actually learn how how it all works okay so to do that i can just create a new page okay now what you need to do with a new page is you want to come to the I think page information. You want to you obviously want to name it. And we want to say um, map details, okay? And then you need to turn tooltip on, okay? Then you need to come to page size and let's turn this into say tooltip. Now a little bit of a trick here is if you come to page view, go to actual size because it's it's made it a little bit bigger, um, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create that exact same visual. Uh, let's just see if I can sort of like actually copy it across without you know, being too. You know, always, always do the simpler option if you can. Okay, so I'm going to just bring this across. No, it's a bit difficult. Okay, so let's just remake it here. Okay, and then I'm going to go state in my location. And then I'm going to grab my revenue. Okay. Right. So now this is in my tooltip. Okay. So you can do more here. I mean, you can also do a custom size to your um, to your uh, visual as well. It doesn't have to be the, this particular size. Um, but now, okay. So now you know we do, we would probably hide this page. That would be another thing that we would do. Okay, then what we would do within our visualizations here is we would select them, come to the format section where it says tooltip, turn this on, and then with the report page, we want to select the map details, right? And then I want to come down to this one as well, and uh, this one's already got a tooltip, and I want to go map details, okay? So now when we scroll through here, now this, this map is embedded into the tooltip so from a consumption experience that is pretty cool right that is pretty epic and you can come down into this visualization here and you get exactly the same dynamic feature to the map i mean this to me is amazing i love it i really really love it let's let's just while we're while we're here why don't we why don't we try something just slightly different right why don't we why don't we try say like a custom size okay we'll we'll move the the width up to say 500 and we'll move this down to see so let's just say like while we're while we're chatting why don't we see if this works right and we can make this a little bit bigger also maybe we want to uh, have a darker background maybe we want to have our background as um, let's say a gray and I want my title um, let's actually go a lighter gray and I want my title to be uh, also something a bit different. Let's go white. Okay. 
So let's just see if this reflects over here. Check that out. Right, so you have full flexibility over how you actually manipulate what you know, what you what you put into this tooltip, the size of it. I mean, I just love it. I just love it. I think I I honestly think there's just so many. I mean, this is just one way you can take it. I mean, you can just think about the what you can do with it here. I mean, you can, um, you know, maybe you want to. I mean, maybe we want to actually instead of having a background there, maybe we want to have a background like this, right? Um, let's let's change this over. Let's take out the background in total, um, and come here. Okay. And then maybe you want to place, um, say, like a card in here, right? Um, come in here and place a nice card, say, like of revenue, for example. Um, and then all we got to do is again change the background, change a few details in here. So you have, you know, I just love the fact that there's just so many different ways that you could create this, right? So many compelling ways that you can create this. Um, display units in millions. Right, and then we could, you know, place down here another metric. Um, just change this over from this to none. Okay, and so we could, you know, I would probably change the colors here as well, but then I can come back in here and let's just see what that happened, what, what this turns into now, right? So, so much flexibility around how you do that. And hopefully you can see that's not, that is not hugely, like that is not that difficult. That is so doable, anyone can do that. Um, and then you just don't, you don't, you, know, you maybe you don't need, you can just put so much into, think about all the different ways you can filter your Power BI reports now. Well, this is just another additional feature that you can add to your reports and make it even more compelling, you know? Um, one thing, you know, if I was just being really, really particular, I don't really love the border. I don't know if we can actually change the border of the tooltip. Let's have a look, let's have a look if we can. Background color, let's just see if we can make that white. No. let's just make these all white and see what happens potentially not because it's it's coming from a different page anyway okay so may, maybe 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 there's a way i'm just not seeing it um at this point in time but there you go hopefully you can see how how good this is how this could be used you know just think of the variability think of the variability you could have one page with lots of different information and then just these tool tips which enable the user to 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 drill through the different aspects maybe you had like lots of different pages in your reports maybe you had 10 different report pages well you should be able to get those down to one or two easily with all these great tips okay if you like that technique uh, and I, I recommend you know diving in and trying to use it as soon as you can just to sort of embed that in your mind and um if you you know also throw the video a like really appreciate it um you know it's great great to have you tuning in uh, and also don't forget to subscribe if you if you haven't sub subscribed recently okay take care everyone all the best talk to you soon